Hi, this is Cedric with Securely. Today, we're taking a look at the powerful YouTube controls that are a part of Securely Filter. Securely Filter provides schools with even greater functionality than Google Admin makes available through its native settings. If your school uses Chromebooks in a purely Google environment, Securely provides all the YouTube controls that you would expect to find in Google Admin, plus some extra options that allow you even greater control, like the ability to hide video thumbnails and block videos by category. However, if your school is a mixed environment, where Windows and iOS devices are also used, Securely helps you get that same level of control across any device in your school, no matter the operating system, and without the need for Google Admin. You heard that right! Securely gives you all the YouTube control that you'd expect from Google Admin, and more, even if you use Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure schools can import the security group structure into Securely Filter and map them to specific filter policies, just like you would in Google Admin. Schools can enforce settings across all network devices, including guest access, even when students aren't logged into a YouTube account. With YouTube controls and Securely Filter, schools are better equipped to connect students to engaging, educational video content while shielding them from distracting and even dangerous content, all from the simple, intuitive UI of Securely Filter. To get started with configuring YouTube controls and Securely Filter, open up Securely Filter and go to the Policy Editor menu. From this menu, you can edit YouTube settings for the default policy, the take-home policy, or any custom policy. Let's select our high school policy, for example, and then let's click on the YouTube tab. On the YouTube tab, you'll see four submenus that allow you to completely configure YouTube access for this custom policy. Before we go further, it's important to note that some of these settings, including channel and category-based controls, are only available through the Securely Chrome or Edge extension. These settings will be marked with an asterisk. The first setting we can configure for this policy is the restriction mode. This allows you to change the YouTube restricted mode setting, just as you would through Google Admin. These operate through enabling YouTube's built-in restricted mode feature. There are actually two levels of restricted mode that you can enable here, strict access and moderate access. Strict access protects students from harmful or adult content and includes keyword restrictions. This mode is recommended for middle school students or younger. Moderate access is slightly less restrictive and is recommended for high school students to ensure that they're not being exposed to harmful content while still allowing them to use YouTube for educational purposes. You can also select unrestricted access, which disables restricted mode entirely. The next three settings we can configure for a policy are hiding thumbnails, comments, and the sidebar. So if you want to lock things down a bit and make YouTube a more educational and less distracting place, a good way to do it is by hiding these extra elements of the website so students can focus on the video content. Let's move to the channels section. Here you can add the URLs of YouTube channels that you would like to allow or block as part of this policy. Just enter the full YouTube channel URL and hit allow or block. In the Videos section, you can do the same thing for individual videos. In the Categories section, you can allow or block videos based on their YouTube category. Do keep in mind that when changing these settings in Securely Filter, any settings that have been changed within your Google Admin Console will take priority. And that's all you need to get started with YouTube controls in Securely Filter. For more information on YouTube controls, please see our knowledge base.